Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime! So, we basically completed the introductory, I'll say chapter, of the game. And now we're basically all on our own, and we get to do whatever we want. So we're going back to the Forward Forest today, because we only explored a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of that level. There's still 14 slimes left on it. And we gotta go and save them, because that's what this game's all about, saving your friends. There's still slimes trapped in Forward Forest. You jolly well have to save them. Yes, thank you, Swatsy. Back to the Forward Forest, and this time we just get to walk in for the entrance, rather than <laughs> flying in here. And as you can see on the top screen, so it lists our money, as well as how many slimes we have left to do, and we've got that little map. You've also got Rocket on this little moving background. That determines what time of day it is. So right now it's still morning, then it turns to afternoon, then uh, sunset, and then night, and then late night. So now we've got these monsters walking around. These are platypunks. These are basically platypuses, meat ducks, meat furry little monsters. They're the main enemy we'll see in the game. We can pick them up, and they just kind of chill here. They, they, they're fine with that. There are more pom-poms around, which are little fruits we can collect. I kind of skimmed over a lot of this, because the first chapter there was a lot of talking. So I'm going to just bring them back to town. You do want to bring enemies back to town. If you get 30 of them, 30 of a specific type of enemy, something nice will happen. I'll get more into that later. This is a jail cat. It's a little, cute, adorable little kitty cat who has a jail pattern on its back. So if you hit them enough with your Elastoblasts, you can actually finish them off. And they, give, they do drop money and sometimes uh, mystery bags which have a random item inside. And we will be taking advantage of that later on in the game, but right now it's just important to kind of go around and collect enemies. Also, once you collect one type, a, a new type of enemy and bring it back to town, that enemy will appear as an NPC walking around town, but they'll be like a good guy. Which is kind of fun. So I feel like I should talk about how did I even come across this game? Basically, back in the days before I realized that things like Amazon.com existed, I went to GameStop, and they had their selection of DS games on display, and I saw this one, Rocket Slime. It was a picture of a slime getting launched out of a tank cannon. It looked awesome. I knew nothing about the game, I'm just like, I need that game in my life. Asked for it for Christmas, I got it for Christmas, and I'm like, wow, this game is amazing. And I never looked back. So I'm just gonna go around and pick up some items. You can never have too many items, basically. And like I said, they do absolutely nothing at the very beginning of the game, but... Pretty soon, we'll be getting something that will make items a lot more valuable, and then even later in the game, there'll be something else that'll make them even more valuable. Hello, you adorable little kitty cats. I'm a big cat lover myself, so I am happy to get these jail cats on my side. So yeah, you can see it's much lighter now on the level, because we're now in afternoon. And like we said in the last episode, I can carry free fans on my head. No more than that, though. If you continually Elastoblast, but don't charge up a whole lot, that is the fastest way of traveling. Also, if you blast a blast into the rail cart, it knocks the stuff that's on top of it off of it. So in case you accidentally threw something on it, no worries, you can just blast a blast to get them off. And as you can see, now this uh, the caution sign that Babo put up here last episode is now gone, so we can explore this part of the level. Is there any blubby there? Get me out of here! I'm blubbocating! If there just happens to be a blubby big rock in the way, a rock bomb should get rid of it. Oh. So that's the next slime we gotta save. Oh, yeah. This is a cattail. And let me tell you, the jail cats love those. And this is a mischievous mole, the next enemy of the game. We can just pick him up, no problem, like all the other enemies. This is a rock bomb. It doesn't bounce off walls like other ammo, and if it hits the ground after you've last blasted into it, it's gonna blow up and damage everything around it. What we need to do is use the rock bomb to blow up this cracked wall rock. Now, there are two ways I could do this. I could just throw the two feet I could throw the cattail and then the mischievous mole to reorient myself. Or you can push the R button and that'll automatically switch the order that you're carrying things. So we're gonna throw that in the way, and boom, it got rid of the rock. 
Oh, keen slime. Baron Blubba. Blobby, you saved me! It's Blobby good to be out in the open again! Now Blubby up and carry me back to town, Rocket. Blubby up? I don't know what that means. Also, once you leave a room and spend a certain amount of time outside of the room, the enemies will respawn in this one. And as you can see, the cat was just following the cattail on the cart. That's because the cat adores cattail and will just run near it. Much like real cats. Oh yeah, Baron Bola sent me something. Let's see what it was. Also, Glooperior sent me something, but I didn't open it because I didn't get the uh, alert for it. I can help you record details of your travels in an adventure log. Just come to the church whenever you wish. The goddess will always welcome you. I'd like you to have this too. I hope it will keep you safe. Oh, it's a treasure chest. A beechwood box once brimful of booty. You chance to find a chest. Now Baron Blubba. Thanks for saving me, Rocket. I was blubby cramped in that chest. Any longer and my blubby round bottom would have become all square. Oh yes! Rock on! It's the bomb! You receive a rock bomb. Rock bombs are really good. Thank you, Baron Blubba. You were very generous. Also, if there are enemies on a cart or items on a cart and you leave the screen, it in they instantly get transported back to town. Rock bombs can also be used to damage enemies, but it's really not necessary. All the enemies in the game are pretty easy. We got a bunch of leaves here. Now, you see this pile of leaves with the shovel in it? If we last a blast into it, it's a well! I'm not gonna carry those guys around. I'm gonna go down the well, because I don't think there are any rail carts down here. Oh boy! We got rock bombs. Also, open every chest you see. Sometimes the chest contains uh, chests contain seeds of life, which increase your max HP. Yeah, I'll carry the rock bomb. And welcome to Mole Deep, everybody. Land where of a thousand moles. <laughs> way to go. So we're just gonna blow up all this stuff in our way. We're gonna ignore the moles for now. Although, one thing you can do... So I'm surrounded by six moles. Once you have three fiends on your head, you, they, you won't automatically pick them up. So if we just keep a last of blasting into them... Yeah, as you can see, they're dying and leaving gold behind for us. Or I guess silver is more appropriate. Alright, take the rock bomb over there and blow it up. Cool. Her boyogi, I got the free moles. And now that we've left, it is now night. And because it's night, instead of jail cats, platy punk, and moles spawning, we have these little bat guys called Drakies. Also, you can see this wing here. If we jump into this portal, it creates a shortcut. So there was a, a wing thing over here that had an X over it, we couldn't use it, but now that we found its corresponding matching one and jumped inside it, it's now created a shortcut. We can jump in here and shortcut to the end of that place anytime we want. So I'm throwing these moles on here, getting them back to town. I also would like to get a Drackey. Boom. Alright. Jumping in here. I believe there are free Drakies hanging out here. And remember, you can only actually pick them up on your head if they're bouncing. And wow, Drakies are weak. Ooh, another pile of leaves. Let's smash into that. Oh ho! It's another well. I wonder where that leads. Ooh, we've got another slime in a chest, and we also have an underground railway cart. It's my lucky day. Drakies can also spawn, un spawn underground at any time of day. Yay! Pee-wee's free! Now Pee-wee wants to go home. Hey, pressing the R button changes the order of what you're carrying. 
Yeah, I already pointed that out, Pee Wee. Also, that's an unfortunate name. Smashing the vases to get more money? I got 360 gold. Nice. Oh, it's a bubble slime. Bubbly. Phew, I'm finally blubbly free. Here's a little tip for you. Go careful, blubbly, around these parts at night. That's when them drackies come up to the surface to feed. Wow, these guys are all saying the same thing that I was saying. Oh, rock bomb. Heck yeah, I'm taking that back to town. Alright, got two letters to read. Let's start with Pee-wee. Pee-wee doesn't like chests. It was scary being all alone in the dark. Pee-wee went wee-wee, and it was all wet. But don't tell anyone. It's a secretion. Wow. Okay, Pee-wee. TMI. Rock on! It's the bomb! We get a rock bomb. It'd be lovely blubbly to see you when you're back next in town. You can use this letter to find out where I am. Yours faithful, Blubbly. Bubbly. And we get another rock bomb. I am very happy with all these rock bombs we're getting. <laughs> oh, and that opened up this well, which is over here in the second area. You probably saw that also had a big X on it. Well, now we opened it up. When it's nighttime, it's easy to get a bunch of Drakis. Oh, hey! There's still a little kitty cat around here. And as you can see, it's now late night slash early morning. It's starting to get a bit light out now. But it's still night, so Drakis still are going to be spawning. Alright. I think that's just about good. Also, what you can do is, if you go over here, you can view the items and monsters you've collected. So we have 13 pom-poms, 11 chests, 1 catnip, and now 4 rock bombs. And then monsters, we have 3 potty punk, 9 gel cats, 9 drackies, and then 4 mischievous moles. That's a good number for the second time going to Forward Forest. So yeah, as you can see, there's a wing here that's boarded up, and then a wing on the other side of the fence. Those two are going to be connected, so if I jump into that wing on the left side of this fence, which I can't reach, it will create a shortcut over here. Alright, enough stalling. As you can see, there's an entrance here that is perfectly shaped like my uh, gelatinous body. So we can go over here. That completely refills all your HP, and this is a boss corridor. We're going to be fighting our first boss today. Hey, what's all the noise about? Why would you come here and wake me up? Are you out of your tree disturbing me for my sweet dreams like that? Who dares to rustle the leaves of the great bow beater? You won't get away with this. I'll soon chop you down to size. So first boss, Bowbeater. He's real easy. We just elasto blast into his face and avoid his hands. That's his health in the lower right corner. So yeah, really simple. So now he's already half dead. Now I'm really barking mad. This has gone beyond an oak. So now he gets, he turns, he gets like dead looking. He loses his leaves. Well, he doesn't lose his leaves, but his leaves are dying. Oh yeah, he does lose a few of his leaves. And now he's got the look of a rotted dead tree. So as you can see, he only deals half a heart of damage if he hits you, and it's pretty easy for him to not hit you. And medicinal herbs can be found inside the leaves. Goodbye, Bowbeater. Gah! I must have been sleeping too long. My branches aren't as sharp as they used to be. Now he loses all his leaves. And wow, it just blew up some trees, and also bosses drop a lot of money. I say, is somebody out there? Do give me a hand. Oh my! Hello there, his royal wobbliness. Ahem, <laughs> thank you for getting me out. I'm his royal wobbliness, King of Slimenia. Oh, it's you, Rocket, you little scamp. I never imagined you'd be rescuing me. Well, thank you, young man. I'm most grateful. Now it's time we went back to the palace. 
that portal there will warp us back to the uh, main Slamenia. Ahem, that was quite a bane. Whatever's going on? <laughs> I ain't letting you go, you schmo. Good heavens! What in the world? That fiend's enormous! <laughs> this tank's the pride of the plob. We like to call it the platy panzer. With this baby at our win wiener tips, we platyosi ain't got nothing to fear. We can't stand up to that monstrosity. Let's run away, Rocket. <laughs> you can't run away from the platy panzer, you goofballs. There's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. I'm right on your no tails. <sighs> Not much fervor now, boy. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm rather puffed. I just need a little rest. Ouch! Oh no, I seem to have put my back out. We have to keep running, Rocket. Do you think you could carry me? You just have to follow this road straight and we'll be back to in Boinberg. So now we just have to run back to Boinberg and they're gonna shoot rock bombs at us. Basically we need to watch where the shadows are going and move out of the way so we don't get blown up. We can also elastoblast it, get some extra distance. So yeah, as you can see that just blew us up. Ah! Yep! I love the boss music. It's really good. We're almost there, wobbliness. There we go. Dang it! Those no good slimes won't get the better of me next time! And we saved four more slimes, yeah! You, you're rarely going to be able to get all the slimes in one visit to a world, so we still have ten more. But now we have seven slimes in town. That gives us a list of the items and the monsters we collected. Nice. Classic Dragon Quest, you slept the night, uh, sound effect. And bada beam bada boom, we're back in Boinberg. I say, Rocket, his royal wobbliness is waiting to see you in the palace. I'd be jolly nervous if I were you. Come along, let's go together. Hmm, there you are, Rocket. I've been waiting for you. We were just discussing the issue of the Plob's firepower, their tanks. Hmm. Fighting their tanks unarmed would mean certain death. I can only suggest that we all pray to the goddess for a way out of this predicament. <laughs> of course! I've just remembered something that could help us. What is it, your wobbliness? An old legend that's been part of Slamenian history for centuries. The legend of the Flute Warrior. <laughs> There's a place to the east of here called the Tomb of Tutenschleimen. It's a desert. <laughs> covered in sand, but with a river running through it. There's a vast castle there, made out of sand. It's long been revered as the resting place of a great hero. Neverworld has been added to our map. Gosh, a castle would be a jolly large resting place, as big as one of the Plob's tanks. I want you to go and investigate, Rocket. There may be something there that will help us stand up to the plob. Good luck, Hmph. Better go to the church and save your adventure log before you go anywhere. And Hmph, this is a gift to you for saving your king's life. Well done. We will get a seat of life! The king of Boinberg is very generous about seeds of life. He gives us quite a few of them throughout the game. Hmm, <laughs> what a pleasure it is to see you. Keep up the good work and save everybody. The future of Slamenia rests in your hands, Rocket. You just leave Boinberg to us, old fiend. You're doing a simply grand job out there. So yeah, as you can see, we now have some enemies that are lying around. So here's the mischievous mole. I dig to know what's going on down there. Reckon I'd be in trouble if I dug on down. 
Meow, it's the cat's whiskers being able to nap in peace and quiet all the time. <laughs> it's Pee-wee. Pee-wee hopes the plob doesn't come back. It's not nice to be wet all the time. Wow, Pee-wee, you gotta do something about that. If you can. So I got seven slimes. I don't think that's enough to have moved another iron ball, but we'll see. Okay. He gets an icon above his head if he move if they move a new one. Oh, it's a planty punk. Hey Ben. <laughs> you going off adventuring, boss? So yeah, now that we've put enemies back in town, they ba they basically turn to our side and are like treat us like we're the leaders now. I'm working really hard all the time. As sleeping that is. <laughs> oh and hey, Bubbly's in here. The church is a funny old place, eh? Or you can feel the poison just draining out of me. I've given him a different voice every time he's talked. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and Baron Bob is here. Rock bombs are incredibly destructive. Be careful how you use them. Alright. Now we're going to save and quit. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We're going to the Tomb of Tutenschleimen. And that is where the game is going to really pick up at the end of it. We're going to find a way to beat their tanks. And that's going to introduce basically the main part of the game. Which is really awesome. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day. And God bless.